T learned this afternoon that the families of the three boys involved in a June 2nd sexual assault at Fawnbrook Apartments are being evicted from the property by management there. The eviction notice comes a few days after the refugee resettlement debate took center stage during Monday city council meeting. Now those involved in that June 2nd assault will have to find new places to live, but for hundreds of others resettled in the community, they're staying put right here in Twin Falls, where they first arrived in America and where daily life is lived under a microscope. But that story, here's Zach Rickens. My father was a doctor, and he was the uh, colonel for the Afghan army. The Taliban, they shoot him from the backside first, and then after he fell down, they shoot on his heart. They killed him. The Taliban, they killed him. Fathe Nori has lived through conditions that are incomprehensible to most Americans. As an Afghan, he worked as an interpreter for both the United States and Afghan armies. We call interpreter Afghanistan as a bridge. We were a bridge between the Afghan people and the United States Army. Working directly with the United States Army put a big target on Fateh's back. So when the opportunity presented itself, he applied for a special permit visa to relocate to America. It's a different culture and a different environment around, so it, it's, it's really difficult. But the good thing is that we have a refugee center here. The College of Southern Idaho Refugee Center and Muslim community have come under fire by a small but vocal minority in the community who put blame on a June 2nd sexual assault on three Syrian refugees. We have not resettled Syrians at all. Um, and, and that is, again, to prove my point that um, they, they, have, they have been trying to look at something that wrong that a refugee would do in order for them to uh, um, uh, to pro promote their agenda. Zeze says national media attention is nothing new and that people spreading false information should take the time to talk to him. The reason that they are coming here to save their life, to save their kids, their, uh, their women. There is nothing different between you, me, or any other refugee in here. We are all human. We are living in the same global. In Twin Falls, Zach Rickens, Idaho's First News. Now, Fadeh says that it was difficult leaving his family and life in Afghanistan, but that the little criticism he and other refugees received from locals is a lot better than being targeted back home. Well, new